What's the strangest, weirdest thing you've seen in someone else's house? My last boss was a 42-year-old white, southern, wealthy businessman. He had a framed picture in his living room of Antoine Dodson, the hide-yo kids hide-yo wife dude. That guy memes. Antoine Dodson was brought up to me twice today, and now this post makes it three. Should I be worried about my wife and kids that I don't have? Just hide them. I went to my friend Brian's house once for dinner, and his mom set four places. One for me, one for Brian, one for herself, and the last one was for a doll with a cut-out picture of Brian's dead grandmother's face taped to the doll's face. Very creepy. Mother. You're not eating. Why aren't you eating mother? Is my food not good enough for you? Why do you have to be so judgmental all the time? Hundreds of those automatic Febris sprays. Like actual hundreds. I couldn't breathe inside the house. Edit. The house belonged to an old lady. The entire house was creepy af. It was located right next to a shooting range, and we had to interrupt every conversation because of gunshots. I didn't see mold, but it was probably under one of the thousands of lace curtains. Everything was covered with lace, even some of the Febra's sprayers. I cat sat for my neighbor once. Some kitty's medication was kept cold. When I opened the fridge to grab it, I noticed tub after tub of jello. Everything in the fridge was jello like 40 tubs of it. Nothing else beside the medicine. Probably a special diet. That's all my boss could eat when he had diverticulitis. I agree. My dad has Crohn's disease and is missing some intestines so couple times a year he has blockages. During these times it's a no solid food diet, Jello is usually an abundant source of good tasting not really solid calories. My Filipino friend has this thing on his mantle. It's a chili pepper with a face that has nunchucks, which are themselves made out of two small chili peppers. I ask him what the frick is going on, but he just chuckles and tells me not to worry. But if he ever does tell you to worry, you freaking listen to him. Okay? Are the nunchucks made of flesh or is he made of nunchuck? The pepper man screams for he does not know. That's one of my favorite little comics lol. When I was in high school, my mom came home from a garage sale with a coffin. It was a wooden antique from England. It was from the 19th century. It had screw holes in the top which lifted all the way off. The couple who sold it to her were getting rid of it because they disagreed about what purpose it should serve. The wife wanted to keep using it as a coffee table with blanket storage, and the husband wanted to turn it into a gun rack. My mom thought it was great as a coffee table, so my siblings and I spent the next few years asking our friends, would you like a blanket from the coffin? While we watch TV. So yeah, high school was fun. Go mom. I would totally have bought that too. Where do you live? I'll build you one. Toured a condo and they had a communal shower, you know the kind you would see at the YMCA, like six shower heads. I pictured them having all their buddies over to take a shower together. A framed picture of an egg. May I offer you an egg in these trying times? I think I've been poisoned by my constituents. Was the egg cracked open or intact? LMAO it was intact. I work in a job where sometimes I have to go deploy equipment in people's homes. I was doing a project where I had to set up some stuff in the kitchen of a very nice vacation rental, which was unoccupied due to the fact that this was February in northern Michigan. The whole thing was decked out to the nines in cutesy, wealthy grandma-type decor, except for the kitchen. The only artwork in there was a painting of three fish with photorealistic penises and testicles instead of tails, hanging above the stove, so that it was the first thing you saw when you walked in. I have never been so disappointed that our project instructions forbade the photographing of property owners' belongings. Oh boy. Okay. This happened a couple years ago. Hopefully I can remember all the details. So my mom and I stopped at, what was advertised as, a garage sale in my neighborhood. They had a bunch of kids stuff in the front yard, and we were looking for stuff for my son, so we decide to check it out, but when we got close it was all in really bad shape. No big deal, we think, let's go inside. As we're walking in we're greeted by a person we assume to be the owner of the house. He's wearing black pants and a tiny leather vest with no shirt underneath. I see this now for the red flag that it was. He welcomes us and tells us everything in the house is for sale. Everything. Look anywhere you want, he says. Open all the drawers. Look in all the closets. Okay cool. Definitely doesn't say anything about there being anything weird in the house. First things first the house is kind of shitty trashed, but still looks relatively normal. 
Only obviously weird thing is that they have a giant TV playing a crazy looking horror movie. Super scary and gory. He says the TV is for sale too, so maybe they're just playing whatever is on to show it works. We look around and don't find anything good and decide to go upstairs. Once upstairs we proceed into the first bedroom. Looks pretty normal. Kind of small and furnished for a kid. Nothing we want? Okay move on. The next bedroom looks like someone is sleeping in the bed. Oops sorry. But no, it is a full-sized human horror prop of a very realistic zombie woman, and oh frick in the corner is a very realistic prop of half a human crawling across the floor. These things looked so real guys. We're like, Jesus, what the frick. These people are serious about Halloween. We go to the next room, and it is set up like a full-on dungeon with torture equipment and fake humans, and piles of Barbie heads for some reason. We are seriously freaked out and decide to leave as quickly and quietly as possible. As we're walking out of the dungeon room a woman comes out of the other creepy room. We look at each other, white-eyed and silent, and all proceed out the front door to separately process our trauma. I have a couple. I used to install internet, telephone and TV at residential homes. Harders are common and never had a bad one I couldn't walk through. Everything in the house was white. Everything. Walls, carpet, pictures, paintings, statues, plates, furniture, everything. It was beyond odd and very weird. Cat and dog poop everywhere. God the smell was so bad. I had to work upstairs in the closet at the smart panel, and two cats were hiding out up there staring at me. Dried cat puke all over the place. It was so nasty. This one house had a smell I couldn't even describe. It hit me as I crossed a threshold, and I noticed two old people in there. Something died or they hadn't changed the diapers in forever. The smell was heavy. One old guy, very nice, but man he smelled like death. I have never seen someone so pale in my life. No blood in his arms, face, anywhere. My sixth sense was going crazy with this one here. Dolls. I've never seen so many dolls in one place ever. This lady could have opened a doll store and had stock left over for the back. They went as high as the ceiling, multiple rooms, all over the place. Special shelves were built for them. Come to think of it, it was clean. No idea how she kept the dust off them. Husband was super cool, but the lady had this obsession with dolls. Forgot about this one. I walk up to the house, and there is a piece of thick copper wire stretched across the railing from one side to the other. It was at ankle length and goddamn I almost killed myself tripping over it. Knocked on that door forever, it felt like. Furniture was stacked in the window next to the door so I couldn't see in. Young woman finally comes to the door and removes the stuff. That's when I realized she barricaded herself in the night before. We talked more and she mentioned the crazy ex-BF she had. I did make a show of stepping over the wire once or twice as I came and went into the home. Edit 2. Rip my inbox. It finally happened and I have dozens of replies. Like, comment, and share. Reddit Story Topper. Subscribe now.